Now, for more, for some insights into the development of uh, Northeast China, um, I would like to bring in a Chu Chang, research fellow of Beijing Foreign Studies University. Mr. Chu, thank you for joining us. Now, we just heard our reporter earlier talking about North Heilongjiang Province. Now, how can innovation in science and technology boost the northeastern region's overall industrial revitalization? Well, a lot of people feel about the stereotype of uh, Northeast China as uh, you know, old Detroit type with an old industrial base. But actually, I think this impression needs to be fast changing. What is that? If it goes through uh, the old region in this area, there are many innovative industries and the technologies that have already been located. For example, everybody knows China's very famous war, the high speed train, right? Then most of the train actually is built in the CRRC Corporation based in this region, and the many of the carriages and uh, trains are shipped to many other countries, for example, Brazil and Indonesia are using our products. And also people know the EV are really popular products in China right now. Everybody knows about the BYD and the x Pun and etc. But do you know that many of the frameworks and tests have been built in FAW group also in northeastern uh, China, as well as many other things. The robot is very hot in the modern industry. And you know, and many robot arms and builders have been built in the hub electronics. So this kind of a new technology and new company has been uh, trying to help the local economy and also more and more small and medium-sized high-tech scavenging industries are also been located in the region as well. So I think this technology and those, those companies are supporting the local economy very, very strongly. And how do you think Heilongjiang uh, province can contribute to ensuring national food security? Well, this actually uh, has been very important, the food production base for China ever since the ancient time. Do you know that more than one quarter of the Chinese who made a staple food has been produced in this uh, Heilongjiang province? And uh, by right alone, Heilongjiang province uh, actually has been produced uh, more than 11 percent of the rice in the whole in the whole country. So for every nine bowl of rice, actually one bowl has been produced in Heilongjiang. Not only by uh, quantity, but also if you take a look at the uh, quality. Uh, the uh, Uchang rice is actually one of the luxury rice brand in all over China. It's very, very famous. So in the future, uh, this region is not only going to support Chinese food security, the quantity, but also it's going to be more greener, with higher quality, better brand, and with more uh, advanced the shipment and also the processing technology, supporting not only China, but also adjacent countries and regions. Now, regional coordination is uh, key in China's uh, balanced uh, development strategy. So for the northeastern uh, region in particular, uh, what measures do you think uh, need to be put in place to enable uh, less developed regions uh, catch up with more developed areas? Well, I, I think first of all, you need to know about the code knowledge. Do you know which is the biggest of financial and the transportation of business hubs in not only China, but also the whole Asian? back in the 1920s. I can tell you that it's not Shanghai, but it's Harbin. Why is that? Because this region actually have all the elements needed to develop a very important business hub. We have a good fertile land, we have transportation, but the uh, railways and the highways and the harbors, and the harbors, and also to be adjacent by many other countries. So this has actually been a very important uh, region. Well, in China, you do know that we have original development plan, for example, in the Pearl Harbor region uh, featuring Shenzhen and Guangzhou, and also we have the Yance Delta region featuring Shanghai and Suzhou and Ningguo and Hangzhou and et cetera. And also we have Beijing and uh, Tianjin region. But uh, only in the northeastern China, we do not have a uh, regional development plan like this. So if you ask what we need to do with this region, I think First thing first, we need a holistic package of policies and development plan to put together uh, the three provinces in northeastern uh, North China, pull, pull over uh, Harbin, Jilin, Changchun, and also the Shenyang of the Downing provinces. If we can form such a plan, I think the whole region can be revitalized. Mr. Chu, indeed a lot to think about. Thank you for your perspectives.